Hello, hello, people of God. God bless you. I want to say hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I've missed all of you. I love all of you. I hope you've missed me as much as I've missed you. I'm currently here in the land of Chicago, Chicago City in Illinois State. How exciting. We have such great news to bring to you. And God is on the move like never before. Amen. So why don't you comment below where you are watching from? one of your favorite prophetic voices and today i'm releasing the prophetic word for the month for the month of june i want you to say june boom amen because i believe there's going to be a boom in the realm of the spirit in fact we have already crossed over into the new hebrew month of sivan which we are going to get into in a few minutes but uh, i welcome all of our friends on youtube and on facebook watching on the replay this is one of my favorite times of the month amen where we come together as a prophetic family as a corporate family from all across the world and we get into the word of god we receive prophetic insights and intel of what we can expect for this upcoming month if you're with me today i want to say this month belongs to the lord amen this month surely belongs to Jesus. And in a few minutes, we're going to go into uh, different uh, insights, revelations of what God has for you and what you can expect for this month of June. If you're excited to be here today, I want to say amen. Comment below where you are watching from so I can give you a shout out and say hello. And also, do us a favor. Would you consider sharing this on your wall? And would you consider uh, giving this a like and giving us a heart? Or for all of you who feel quite uh, Mr. Scrooge, Scrooge-like, give us an angry face. Amen. But like I said, this is Dr. Pastor Benlam. I'm live here from Chicago. Amen. And we have some wonderful, fantastic things prepared here in Chicago this weekend. And really for the whole month of June. I'm so excited. This is a great, great month of harvest. So I need all of your prayers and all of your love. Keep me and our ministry in prayers because this is a big month of revival, harvest, evangelism, and outreach in Jesus' name. Amen. I felt the fire of God just talking about it. I feel such an expectation in the spirit because we're going to plunder hell and populate heaven. Amen. And all of America will be saved. Hallelujah. So if you're excited to be here, give some hearts and likes. Comment. June boom. And comment below where you are watching from. And I want to give you some shout outs. Amen. Our YouTube family coming in strong today. Love it. Jurgen Meyer. God bless you. Tiana Nia Pointer. Amen. Angela Drake. Sheila Okuoma. Lisa Wallace. Atlanta, Georgia. Hallelujah. Souls of God, bless you. Amen. Thank you, Victory. Hallelujah. Joanna Laura, thanks for being a partner on YouTube. From El Paso, Texas. Glory to God. Our YouTube family coming in hot and strong. Facebook, I know you've missed me. Trust me, I've missed you too. We had a tremendous time in Korea. And uh, honestly, I was super busy. I mean, when am I not busy, right? Because when you are on assignment, you are on demand. Can I say that again? When you are on assignment for the Lord, you are on demand in the spirit, which means God has need of you. Amen. And when you are on assignment, you are on demand, which means that there is a supply. And let me tell you, friends, our time in Korea was tremendous. Thank you for all your love and prayers. And all the glory goes to Jesus. But I preached 10 times in a span of five, in five days. Yes, five days. I recorded an album, launched Benham Global Korea, translated two books in Korean. God is good. The Lord gets all the glory. Amen. But uh, after that, I ministered in Albuquerque. Pentecost Sunday at my church, and now I'm here in Chicago. Keep me in prayers for strength, refreshment, 
and rejuvenation. Amen. But today we're talking about June boom. And I have a word for you. Because this month is going to be a great month of harvest and outpouring. Hallelujah. If you're excited to hear from the man of God, from the mouth of the prophet, I want to say amen. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes. And help me to boost the algorithms. Facebook fan, let's boost the algorithms. I know I've been a little bit silent, but it doesn't mean you should be silent. Amen. But our YouTube family coming in hot. Praise God. Hey, Jamie from Alberta, Canada. Glory be to God. Rebe City, SRT, Carolyn Award, Maryland, Alta, Marianne, Kathleen Campfield. Jesus. Edward Dawkins, thanks for being a subscriber. Hazel, Providence Ivana, thank you. Rebecca Torres, thank you. Arlene Bernard, God bless you. Amen, Yolanda. Thank you, Lord. Friends, I want you to stretch out your hands. Lord, I thank you right now for the power of God that's present. And Lord, we ask you, come on, pray in the spirit, my friends. Pray aloud in the Holy Ghost. Lord, I thank you for redemption, for recompense. And that this month, we are going to see demonic portals close. And I prophesy a harvest of miracles and souls this month of June, this month of Sivan, in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray a lot in the Holy Ghost. I destroy every witchcraft, every demonic stronghold that is in operation against God's children. And I declare every high place is being brought low and every low place is being raised up. And Father, I ask you that this broadcast will be covered by your grace. So come Holy Spirit, touch your people now. And I thank you for redemption, recompense, payback in the name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. If you are ready to receive today, I want to say hallelujah. And I want you to give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Amen. Friends, help me to break the 150 here on Facebook. I know I've been silent, like I said, but I've been very busy. I've been on the move. And I feel the severity of God in my spirit. I feel a sense of urgency. Because even as I was praying right now, the Lord caused me to remember the importance of this month of June. Why is this month so important? Because there is a number of man that's being raised up. Now we understand six in Hebrew. It stands for the number of man. Now man in itself is not evil. Amen. Because everything that God created is good. However, when it's just a man in himself, of course, 666, me, myself, and I, the mark of the beast. And when man separates himself from his creator, from God, and when we begin to parade and pride ourselves in this so-called month of pride, we are going to see the proud brought low, like Bud Light like Target, we are going to see the proud brought low. And I prophesy now that in this month of June, we are going to see the proud brought low. We are going to see the high and lofty things be nullified, destroyed, vanquished, and come to nothing. In fact, I hear the Lord saying, I'm tearing down the high places. And I also hear the Lord saying, I am beginning to scatter the plans of your enemies. Come on. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. I prophesy winds of angels to begin to release confusion on the camp of the enemy. That the enemy's camp will be scattered and destroyed. His plans will be deviated. And the plunder of God would take place 
if you are ready to receive it, say amen. And if you are in agreement with this prophetic word, this prophetic decree, I want to say hallelujah. Now, we can see in the realm of the counterfeit that whenever there is a counterfeit that shows the extremity, the gravity that shows the extent of God's original will and purpose. What does that mean? Can I take it deeper? Because the leftist evil woke agenda has paraded the month of June, the sixth month of the Gregorian calendar, six stands for the number of men. Because the world is parading the month of June as Pride Month. No, 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 I'm sorry. It is not the month of the proud. This is the month of the humble. Can I get an amen? This is the month where God will bring the high things low and the low things will be raised up. The Lord is preparing a way and I see a leveling in the spirit. There is a leveling in the spirit. What does that mean? That means God is making things leveled and flat and plain for a fresh release. It's a new standard. It's a new foundation, a new platitude, a new altitude, a new plateau. So this month of June, of course, the Hebrew month of Sivan, this is going to be a month where God's going to raise up the humble and bring low the proud in the name of Jesus. And we declare right now, every demonic portal will be closed in Jesus' name. Every demonic portal of sexual perversion, immorality, witchcraft, debauchery, the things of the flesh, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, it will be brought low this month in the month of June. And all of God's people say amen. Expect a boom this month in the supernatural. Now, I feel the power of God, my friends, because the Lord is bringing low the high things and he's raising up the lowly things now if you have been experiencing lowliness like you've been eating some humble pie you feel a sense of urgency of the threshing floor you know something shifted you know i could i could literally feel something shifted in the last few days since pentecost shavuot has passed can I get a witness in this place? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Of course, Sunday was Pentecost Shavuot. And right after Pentecost Shavuot passed, I could feel a shift already. It's There's an alertness. Something's gone off in the spirit where now it's time to plunder. The season has changed. Things have shifted. Someone say amen. And I believe it's because it's game time. It's time for war. It's time for battle. And this month of June, get ready for a boom, my friends. Get ready for a great boom. There's going to be a boom against your enemies. However, there will be a boom of great advancement. We're going to get into that in a little bit. Once again, this is Dr. Pastor Bellum. I'm live from Chicago. And what I just released right now, that was sorely profound. Prophetic. That was a prophetic utterance, a drop of the spirit, a realm of revelation that just opened up to, to me. That was not in my script at all. But as we began to pray, because I, I feel even as I'm here in Chicago and even in this moment, I feel certain things. But I believe the Lord led us to pray and to prophesy that word because that surely is a word in the name of jesus so if you receive that say amen and if you believe that say amen i believe god is going to bring the plans and the encampments of the enemy to nothing many many to kill a parson get ready for more companies corporations ministries people <clears throat> to begin to fall this month there's going to be a great crash. <clears throat> Excuse me. Absolutely. 
Well, we're going to see a great crash of surprise situations. Some will say, boom, hallelujah. There's going to be a great boom, my friends. So give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Because I'm going to begin to go deeper into this prophetic word for the month of June. Amen. And like I said, I'm here in Chicago. Praise God. Tomorrow, Thursday, which is June 1st, June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, we are doing tent revivals. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. We're doing tent revivals here in Chicago, Loyola Park. I need you to pray with us, friends. We're believing for a great harvest of souls, great miracles. Amen. And I sense a sense of urgency all of a sudden to really pray and to seek the face of God. And it doesn't mean I haven't been praying or I haven't been seeking, but I feel we got we need to go deep in prayer right now because we're up against something. We're about to go against something in the spirit. We already are. So pray with us, amen. And that's going to be so exciting. After Chicago, of course, we're going to be in St. Louis, amen, after St. Louis, Kansas City, and so forth. This month is a big month for our ministry where we're doing tent revivals, outdoor crusade evangelism, gospel preaching, soul winning, the whole month of June in America. All of America will be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're hitting Route 66 Highway called Route 66 Revival. And we're going forth in the glory of God. Nine cities, actually, along Highway 66. And we're releasing the blitz, the bombardment of heaven. Amen. Upon earth. In these cities and these regions. So pray with us. I need your prayers. Need your support. And if you're in the surrounding regions and areas, please come, join us, be a part, amen. This is gonna be a historic time. And I'm so excited that the time has come now. This is probably the biggest month of outreach and evangelism in a sense for our ministry. So that's why I'm in Chicago, friends, amen. So keep us in your prayers, praise God. But if you are ready to receive the word of the month, I want to say amen. And I want to say hallelujah. And I want to say I'm ready to receive. Hallelujah. Now, once again, if you're in the Chicago, Milwaukee, Indianapolis, the Great Lakes region, come and see us here in Chicago. Amen. And in fact, we just added Prophet John Veal to our lineup here in Chicago, Prophet John Veal. Glory to God. Lift up your hands, Lord, thank you. Touch your people right now. And I thank you for the power of God, the dunamis power, to come upon your people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to say amen. Friends, I feel such a shift in the spirit, such a shift. And I want to encourage you prophetically, very quickly before we go into the word. You are a new creation. Some of you are experiencing such a fresh renewal and such a new rebirthing, rebranding. You have lost your taste. You're, you've lost your appetite. Things that you used to love and enjoy, you don't love and enjoy anymore. It's past. It's done. It's gone. There's a breaking and a breakthrough. There's a breaking and a breakthrough. And even as graduation season has passed or still ongoing, you've graduated. You've graduated to another level. You've graduated in the glory. You've graduated to a higher realm. And I just want to say happy graduation because you've graduated. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe many of us, even as we've graduated, it's 
come to an end of a season and it's becoming a new season. It's the beginning of a new season. If this bears witness with you, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and lights. Because I believe many of you watching, you've graduated. And this month will be the beginning of something new. It will be the beginning of a new you. If you're receiving and believe it, say amen. How so, Pastor Ben? Well, because, of course, Pentecost just passed. And Pentecost, Shavuot, is the birthing of the church. Yeah, there were all these people who wanted it, but they didn't pay the price to make the cut, to make the 120 cut. Some would say, cut, cut, snip, snip. Amen. Shaka Rabata. So only 120 graduated. It started off with 500, but only 120 graduated. So you are a part of the graduating class. Amen. So are you ready for upgrades and for graduation? If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Now, friends, in this month of June, there's going to be some unusual things taking place. I want to say unusual. But first and foremost, let's go to the Hebrew calendar and let's go to the Hebrew and the historical understanding of this month. Of course, we are currently in the month of Savan. I want to say Savan, S-I-V-A-N. And it's Hebrew month of Savan. This is the month of Shavuot. And of course, Shavuot has already passed. But I believe we're still in the overflow. Say overflow. We're still in the overflow of Pentecost harvest and Shavuot. But if you're feeling this shift and is changing your spirit, it's because they went in the upper room one way, but they left a totally different way. They came in one way, but they left a different way. Amen. And that's what's happening to all of you right now. You're being transfigured by the baptism of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of God. You're being immersed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. So this month is a month of baptism. This month is a month of outpouring. It's a month of harvest. This month of June of Savan, this is a month, hallelujah, where things are going to begin to shift 100% of your life. Now, the main significant thing for this month of Savan is really, of course, it's Pentecost. It's the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Or in other words, it's also the giving of the Torah, the giving of God's word, which is also the fulfillment of harvest. But I want to prophesy this month, God is about to give you many upgrades. God's going to give you specific words, new assignments, new alignments. God is going to give you new mantles because this month was the month where Peter rose up, stood up bold and strong, and began to confront the religious Pharisees, and the church had 3,000 added onto them. Amen. So this month, June Savan, we're going to see a boom in the upper room, and we're going to see a boom of authority, of mantles, of a new church, of a new breed, of a new you. Hallelujah. And in this month, it's the giving of the Torah. And what's the Torah? Of course, it's the word of God. So are you ready for God to give you new downloads, uploads, insights, strategies, revelations, assignments, words, dreams. In fact, even this morning, 
I woke up from an incredible dream. I have not dreamed that clearly with specific details. Literally for, it felt like in the dream, I, I was in the dream. I was cognitively, consciously in the dream, active, moving, and aware in the dream for a long time. But I woke up today in Chicago with such an incredible dream. And in the dream, there was overflow. There was an overflow of people, overflow of harvest. Amen. And it happened subtly. In the dream, there was a, I had a divine appointment with some Hispanic people in my hotel lobby here. And it's funny because I'm staying at the Hilton Doubletree, so someone say double. But in my dream, I had a divine appointment with some Hispanic people in the hotel lobby downstairs. <clears throat> and then we had a Holy Ghost meeting and the whole lobby was filled with people ready for me to preach the word. And there was probably about 500 people jam-packed in the hotel lobby. And the Lord said, overflow and harvest. Amen. Are you ready for God to give you his word this month? To give you his fire? To give you the power of the dunamis? The mantle of upgrade? Someone say, amen. This is a month of the mantle of the upgrade. I want to say amen if you receive that. But as I'm sharing the importance of Shabbat, which just passed, but well, we're still in the overflow of it, amen. In this month of Sivan, in this month of June, this truly is a month, amen, where God's raising up a new breed. God is raising up a new generation. And I want to read this verse to you from me to you today. This is the key verse of this prophetic broadcast. So let's go to Acts chapter 2, 2 to 3. Amen. Acts chapter 2, 2 to 3. And I'm going to read it out loud here. Hallelujah. If you're excited to hear the word of the Lord, say amen. Acts 2, 2 to 3. The Bible says, and suddenly, say suddenly, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues of fire appeared to them and rested on each of them. My goodness, I feel the Lord. I want you to pray right now. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a rushing wind. And it filled, hallelujah, the entire house. Someone say, fill me, Lord. Someone say, fill me, Holy Ghost. Get ready for a filling in the name of Jesus. Get ready for a filling of fresh fire fresh winds, the fresh rhema word, the raw power of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shh. Are you ready for suddenlies? Sudden promotion, sudden upgrade, sudden fire, sudden glory, sudden breakthrough, sudden financial, I prophesy, sudden financial increase. Come on, I need you to have faith with me today. Help the man of God preach and prophesy this word to you. Help me to release this word to your church. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Sudden financial breakthroughs this month. Sudden divine appointments and opportunities. I prophesy there's going to be a sudden glory that will manifest in your life. If you believe it and receive it, I want to say amen. Someone say suddenly. My goodness. But you see, what I want to focus on, yes, I believe in the realm of suddenly, but what I want to focus on right now is I believe 
there's going to be a second wind. Oof. I want to say second wind. This is a month of the second wind. And what do I mean by the second wind? This is a month where God's going to give you a new breath, new life, great encouragement, the wink from heaven that you need. Shababarata. Of course, June, we're actually halfway, my friends, in 2023. Can you believe it? We're five months in 2023. This month and on, do we have seven months, but we're about halfway in. This is the halfway mark of 2023. Hallelujah. And I believe God's going to give you a second wind. Come on, if you receive it, say amen. I believe God's going to give you a second wind. And do you know what a second wind stands for? It stands for a new thrust a new push, a new release. You were about to give up, but God stepped in the room. You were about to throw in the towel, but Jesus breathed fresh life and breath upon you. You, you were sad, you were depressed, oppressed, down low in your mourning, in your grumbling, in your complaining, in your sad, but God stepped in suddenly. Hallelujah. So this month is a month of the second wind. I'm going to read that again, Acts 2, 2 to 3. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a mighty rushing wind. Are you ready for winds of change? The winds of God. The winds of favor. Are you ready for winds? And what happens when there's winds? When there's winds, you don't have to strive. You don't have to push. In fact, when the winds are there, the wind will begin to carry you. Who am I talking to? I prophesy the winds of God, grace, and favor are about to carry you to the next season. The winds of the Holy Spirit, the winds of God, which stand for angels, angelic assistance is going to accompany you this month. In the name of Jesus. Some will say second wind. And second winds also stand for second chances. God's going to give many of you a second chance. A divine opportunity window moment. Of greater glory and greater promotion. If you're with me today, say amen. So the Lord began speaking to me saying. Son, prophesy to my people. About the second wind. About the second wind. And I believe in this halfway mark of 2023, you are going to see more <clears throat> miracles, financial breakthrough, souls saved, salvations. You're going to see more from June to December. Hear me now. From June to December. You're going to see more, feel more. Your heart is going to be more on fire for God. Amen. Because it's a season of increase. We have entered into the days of increase. Amen. And soon we will be in the days of awe. But we have entered into the days of increase. And many of you are going to see winds. Winds. Someone say winds. But the Lord also instructed me to prophesy to you about the new sound. Because the Bible says suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. Come on, someone say preach, Dr. Ben. There's going to be a new sound from your mouth. A new roar from the tribe of Judah. A new song. There's going to be a new sound of victory, of breakthrough. Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Jesus. Shh. There's going to be a new sound. And the Lord said a new sound, a new move, and a new breed. Why? Because this month, June, is number six. Six means man. 
once again, man in itself can become evil. But man, humanity, Adam in Christ, we formed the one new man. It is the body of Christ, the new breed. So God's going to release a new sound and a new move. Someone say, I'm moving. A new sound and a new move. I prophesied divine movement with the angelic hosts of heaven. I'm telling you, friends, in the flesh and the natural, my body is very tired. But I could feel such a witness on this word right now that my eyes are quite teary. Hallelujah. Shabba Baba. A new sound and a new move. A momentum of the spirit. Such a momentum. No flesh can glory in his presence. Nobody can take credit for what God's about to do. This month of June. This month of Savan. This month of the June boom. A new sound. A new move. And a new breed. Someone said amen. This month my friends. And the Lord began speaking to me. Hallelujah. The Lord began speaking to me. About the winds. A fresh wind. A new wind. A second wind. <clears throat> winds of change. Winds of grace. And winds of glory. Are you ready to ride on the winds of God? Are you ready to ride on the winds of God? And even now, as I'm prophesying under the anointing, the Lord is reminding me, thank you, Lord, of the significance of this month. Isn't it interesting? Because, and I want you to hear this. Because this month, Sivan, Moses received the Torah, the word of God. And Moses gave the law and the Torah to God's people this month. Years later, God the Father, hear me now, the Father gave the church his spirit. So this month, is really a month of the Father. It's a month of the Father's gifts. It's the month of the Father's goodness, His graciousness. So this month, of course, we have Father's Day in America coming up. But why is this important? Because the Toronto blessings broke out on Father's Day. This is the season, the month, the anniversary of the Toronto blessings, the charismatic renewal, where Heidi Baker, Bill Johnson, Randy Clark, Georgian Banoff, Cheon, the Revival Alliance, most of the charismatic fathers, mothers, generals that we love, they got touched. There was a rebirthing this season, this month, in Father's Day. Amen. And the great outpouring and revival or renewal that we call and we talk about called the Toronto Blessings that happened this month. So this is a month of the Father where the Father gives his word. The Father fulfills his promise and isn't it so isn't it so erroneous and hilarious that in this month of the Father, there's such a rebellious spirit of perversion that's trying to parade itself like Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen, Jesus. Like Sodom and Gomorrah in the month of the Father. Do you know why? Because they're orphans. They need God. They need Jesus. They're orphans. And because the world 
they're orphans. They're looking for love in all the wrong places, but they're orphans, my friends. But the father is calling his children back to himself. So I prophesy prodigals returning to the father this month. Are you ready for a mass harvest and massive awakening of prodigals? A massive awakening and returning of prodigals this month in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to see that? Amen. The Lord also began speaking to me, saying this month, which is the month of the Father, there's going to be sudden blessings, promotions, and breakthroughs. I want you to say suddenly. Now, who needs a suddenly in their life? Amen. There's going to be suddenlies coming upon your life, my friends. Suddenlies. My goodness. And in fact, I feel like the Lord said, I just got the download. I'm going to have to do a webinar on the realm of suddenlies. And we'll do that in the next two weeks time frame. I've, I've been praying. What do I, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do webinars anymore? What do you want, God? But the Lord just dropped it in my spirit now to talk about the realm of suddenlies because that is the word of the Lord. I feel the glory, the oil on that. Amen. But there's a realm of suddenlies that you and I can step into. And this month, there's going to be suddenlies. Suddenly, the proud will be brought low. And suddenly, the humble will be lifted up. Are you ready for sudden promotion, breakthrough, financial increase, harvest, miracles? Hallelujah. My goodness. Lift up your hands in this place and say, I receive it in Jesus' name. Now, I want to give you three prophetic points, all right, for this month. Three prophetic points. I've shared all of this with you to prophesy specifically what I believe is going to happen for you this month. Amen. Number one, creative miracles. I believe many of you are going to become new this month. Of June and Savan, you're going to become new. There's going to be New ideas, new life, new momentum, new creativity, new businesses. Amen. Who am I talking to? New visions, new assignments. Even this morning, I woke up from an incredible dream. I know that was a God dream. It was not a pizza dream, even though I did have some Giordano's deep dish Chicago pizza last night. But I know it wasn't a pizza dream. Amen. It was a God dream. Caraba brota. But the Lord says, number one, creative miracles. This month, you're going to create. God's going to create something new with you. There's going to be new assignments, new ideas, new revelations. There's going to be new businesses, a new you, a new creativity. There's going to be new miracles being created in your life. If you receive it, say amen. Number two, the second thing is divine movement and momentum. I want to encourage you and prophesy to you. There's a new sound, a new move, a new breed. There's divine movement and momentum. Even as the fire of God fell in the upper room and apostle Peter stood up and preached the word, Boom, 3,000 came to Jesus at that one day, and many were added onto the church. That's this month, this season. Are you ready for the many to be added unto you? Are you ready for divine movement and momentum? Hallelujah. Many will be added unto you this month in Jesus' name. So get ready for divine movement and momentum this month of June, of June boom, of Savan. Amen. 
Are you ready for the third prophetic point? All right, are you ready? If you're ready, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes, praise God. The third prophetic point I want to prophesy to you. Amen. It is breakthroughs and breakouts. Breakthroughs and breakouts. I really believe there's going to be breakthroughs and breakouts this month. Even as the 120 broke through and then the power of God broke out, there's going to be breakthroughs and breakouts. Jesus. This is going to be the month of your greatest breakthrough. I'm prophesying to you, Rob Filler. This will be the month, Rob and Melissa Filler. This will be the month of your greatest breakthrough. This month of June. This month of the Father. Amen. This will be the month of your greatest breakthrough. And the Lord said, break through and break out. Break through and break out. Come on, pray the Holy Ghost. There's going to be a breaking of ceilings. There's going to be a breaking of records. <clears throat> There's going to be a breaking of ceilings, a breaking of records. Stretch out your tent pegs. Holland, there's going to be a breakthrough and a breakout of records, of ceilings, statistics. This will be the month and season of June boom. Where you will see the greatest incremental increase in your life. If you believe it, say amen. This is the Pentecost dunamis power. It's the dunamis of the second wind, the spirit wind. Ta! Boosting and thrusting. Buskara, bruskata. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. That spirit of might that comes upon his people. Shobaburokata. Hallelujah. Breakthroughs and breakouts in the name of Jesus. This month of June, my friends, it's the Father's month. And will you pray with us as we travel across America this whole month, believing to see prodigals and souls saved and won, the gospel preached. The harvest is ripe. The labors are few. Will you pray with us? Pray with us. I believe there's going to be a second wind. A new thrust, a new move, a new sound, a new breed, a new you. Jesus. Just lift up your hands and let's pray. Just pray a lot of the Holy Ghost, my friends. Maramama Shatabaka. Rebe be 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 so tarabrata. Shara broko prosata. Kira de diria ra ba 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 ba. Things are breaking. There's a breaking in the spirit. Every limitation and every barrier is breaking. Every limitation, every barrier. The threshing floor is breaking. Jesus. Jesus. Friends, I want you to stretch out your hands and touch the screen. Lord, I thank you right now. Stretch out your hands and touch the screen. God, I thank you. I come in agreement. Now, second wind. Winds of change. Winds of fire. Winds of favor. Winds of grace. Winds of glory. 
a second wind shall come upon you in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Come on, just bless the Lord. Worship Jesus. The Father's releasing gifts, assignments, mantles. Rebe la batata. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. This is a pioneering month. And this is a month of man where you're going to become a new man. This month, the Father is creating you to be a new man and a new woman. This month of June. Jesus, Jesus, if you receive this word today, I want to say amen. Now, I know there was so much that was released today. My goodness, someone said prophesy. I know so much was released today. I want you to comment below what you received the most, what spoke to you the most. Comment below. What word you are attaching your faith to, and you're saying that's mine. I want you to comment below. Amen. Sharababarakata. Thank you, Lord. Crystal says, I come in agreement. Winds of change. Favor grace go. Amen. Hallelujah. Sharababaramate. Revelebabarabasata. Reve sota. Second chance is Rosian Ku. Keys gifts breakthrough. Zeramamamanda, breakthrough, new glory, breakthrough, breaking out, season of reward, biggest pride, amen, Prophecy. divine movement, momentum, creative miracles, victory, reward, month of Holy Spirit, records being changed, upgrade, graduation, suddenly is a second win. Breakthrough, joy, breaking barriers, assignments, new wins. Hallelujah. Newness, a new sound, yes, a new roar. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You see, that's why it's so important. To be connected to a prophetic mantle or ministry. You never know. What will be said and released and done. And you got to catch it. Amen. Boom. New sound. Creative miracles and wins. Shara babarata. A new voice. A greater mantle. Sorry. I saw that. Thank you. Someone's first time here on Facebook. Bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. As you come on in the room, as you're tapping in, I want to say amen. Prodigal's coming home. I'm graduated. Amen. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Now, friends, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you. Bless and baptize your people. Bless and baptize your people. With every word that was spoken, let it not return void. Cha! Thank you, Lord. Bless your people abundantly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Je and all of God's people say amen. Now, friends, this month, 
expect a new sound, a new move, a new breed, a second wind, creative miracles. Wow. I'm so excited. Friends, I'm going to be praying for you and you pray for me. This is a very big month for us. I need your prayers. I need your partnership. Amen. Well, friends, like I said, this is probably the biggest month for our ministry this year. Every month is big. Amen. But this month, we're hitting nine cities, tent revivals, crusades, outdoor crusades in America. We're here in Chicago. We start tomorrow. Then we go to St. Louis, Kansas City, Tulsa, Amarillo, uh, Albuquerque, Flagstaff, Phoenix, Los Angeles, the whole month of June. We're committed to seeing America saved with the gospel, with the power of God. Amen. So we're doing our part. We're putting our faces out like flint to go before the Lord. So if you are around these cities along Highway Route 66, I want you to come and join. Be with us in person and your life will never be the same again. Amen. But friends, today, I want to open up a time for you to sow. And don't only sow into this word, but sow into this ministry. Okay. Because we need your prayers and your financial partnership with this vision called Route 66 Revival. Now, we're not doing a crusade in Africa or Pakistan. I would love to, but that's not my season now. In this season, the Lord says, get the church ready in America. We must see America saved. So, friends, I want you to pray about sowing a generous seed today. Amen. And as you're getting your seed ready, I want to challenge you. Consider sowing double. Double that number. Consider sowing a generous seed today for the harvest. For Savan, for the June boom. Amen. For the harvest of souls. And as you're preparing your seed, I want you to comment below this word as you are coming in agreement with the prophetic word and as you're coming in agreement with partnering with our ministry. Amen. I want you to comment Pentecost harvest as you sow your seed. Comment Pentecost harvest because I believe this whole month of Savan, we're going to see sudden harvest. Pentecost harvest in our lives. But would you consider sowing a generous seed? Amen. We need your prayers and we need your financial partnership. Doing these crusades this whole month is not a cheap ordeal. It's not. But I believe with the partnership of the righteous, with you, our friends and followers, we will see this budget fulfilled. And not only will we see the budget fulfilled, but we're going to see many souls saved. Amen. So consider sowing a, a seed. Praise God. Don't be a dying and dasher and just leave. Like many people do. Good to see Elaine. Thank you, Rob Filler. Bless you. Melissa Filler, bless you. Vanessa, bless you. DC, bless you. Shanice, bless you. Erlina Sipayang, bless you. Amen, that's right. All those demons on 66, blood of Jesus. Amen. Isn't it interesting? Highway 66 on June the sixth month of 2023. Isn't that interesting? Thank you, Becky Weaver. Miss you. Mary Francis. Providence Ivana. Laura Alanis. And in fact, Laura, you're, you're part of our Chicago team this week. Carolyn Ward. Heather Jennifer Scruggs Barnes. 
my first time seeing you too. Thank you, Lord. Providence Alana, amen. Marlene Rasta. Come on, if you received from the word of the Lord, from the man of God, I want to say amen. Come on, YouTube friends. Please sow as the Lord leads. Remember, you cannot love without giving. So if you believe these words to be true, give back. Partner with God, partner with heaven. Hallelujah. Missy Brown Cole, God bless you. Shamanabata. Good to see you, Tyler. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Sharon, bless you. Friends, I want you to sow into this word, sow into this revival, Route 66 revival with us. Amen. Whenever you sow into souls, the Lord will bless you immensely. Thank you, Lord. Well, we hope to see you in Tulsa, Michelle Hardy. Glory to God. I'm going to give another 30 seconds for you to sow in this moment before I finish off with announcements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, amen and amen. Thank you, everybody, for sowing, for partnering, for watching today. Amen. Friends, real quick, like I said, today I'm in Chicago, and tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're doing tent revivals in Chicago. So if you're in the area, please drive in, fly in, be a part of what God's doing. We are outside the four walls of a church. And you know what? I want to say this publicly. I'm quite sad to see the lack of unity, even the lack of hunger in Chicago. I know a number of ministers in Chicago. I know a number of ministers. I can count over 10, okay? But I'm quite appalled to see a lack of unity of the Chicago church. So y'all need to do better. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lakian. Bless you. But uh, thank you, Vicky. Bless you. But y'all pray with us for Chicago because we start tomorrow, right? And you can follow us on the Route 66 Revival Facebook page because we're going to be going live there. Amen. And then after Chicago, we're going to be in St. Louis, exciting Chicago and St. Louis. I mean, just Monday, Memorial Day, there was 50 people who got shot on Memorial Day. Can you imagine that? 50 people, that's a war zone. I mean, it's a modern day Afghanistan here in Chicago. So... We're gonna we're gonna go after souls and miracle signs and wonders no matter what. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's Chicago. After Chicago, we go to St. Louis, another murder capital of America. But we prophesy every murder capital will turn into revival capitals. Amen. And then from St. Louis, we go to Kansas City. Then Tulsa, then Amarillo, then Flagstaff, then Phoenix, then LA. I am so excited, friends. Amen. So keep on the lookout about 
Route 66 revival. Amen. Also, in the month of July, we are going back to Hawaii. Myself, Prophet Charlie, and Bryn Shant, and Steve Swanson. That's the month of July. Come and get a vacation with us. I wish I was in Hawaii right now, honestly. <laughs> but uh, come and join us in Hawaii the month of July. Myself, Prophet Charlie, and Bryn Shant, and Steve Swanson. You look like you need a vacation. Yes, I'm talking to you. So come and see us. Be a part of us. And see what God's about to do. Amen. And last but not least. I want to talk about our group mentorship. Called 7M Glory Equip. In fact, today I'm going to do a private Zoom. With our 7M Glory Equip members. Every month. We have at least two Zooms in this group mentorship. Incredible people here, Melissa and Rob Filler, Becky Weaver, incredible people. But do you desire to grow more in the glory of God, in your identity, in your calling? Do you want to be mentored by me? I would love to mentor you, pour into you, walk with you. If you join, you become a part of a private group on Telegram where you build community and relationships. Also, like I said, we have at least two private Zooms a month. And as well, you get closer proximity, relationship, mentorship with me, yours truly, Dr. B. Lin. So I would love to see you. Love for you to be a part. Amen. 7M Glory Equip. Thank you, Jennifer, for sewing. Praise God. Well, friends, this is Dr. Ben Lim. Love you. Keep you. Keep me in prayers. And uh, every word that was spoken for this month, let it come to pass. Amen. God bless you, friends. Subscribe, follow, press like. YouTube, we're almost breaking a 20,000 mark of subscribers. It has been a battle on YouTube. But show us some love on YouTube. Help us to break the 20K subscribers on YouTube. Love you. Bless you. Shalom.